we are about to get ready to leave. We're at the airport, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And the trip is about to begin. Hawaii first, Philippines second. We're at the airport, we gotta go find a rental car and then we're gonna find us some real food because we ain't had enough snacks for the last 16 hours. You got book, you got mail. We're gonna go check the place out and try to find out where our Airbnb is. I'll probably uh, video a little bit now, but I'll show y'all a little bit more probably either tonight or, or in the morning. We got to the Airbnb last night. We got the rental car. We got all of that. We got everything set and ready to go. We had a few hiccups here and there, like trying to find the key to get in the room. We were actually trying to get in somebody else's room last night about uh, 9.30. And <laughs> they kind of started hollering inside the room because we were punching the code on their door and it was the wrong room. Give me a shot of where we are uh, staying at right here. This is Alamoana Boulevard. Today we're going to a, man, what's that thing called, Melly Mel? Swap meat. That's where you go to the store and you buy hamburger and you take it out there and you trade it with somebody else that's got meat that you want. Ain't that right? Don't you go out there and trade meat, like hamburger meat with people and stuff like that? No, it's clothing and uh, people will buy his uh, other stuff. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a meat exchange. Uh, we're gonna go out there and look and see what they got, but we'll uh, take y'all along with us for the ride. It's always wide open, no doors, just like that, with this beautiful breeze blowing through. Oh, wow, look at that. That is pretty. Milly Mail and Book. Hey, Mel, what's the name of this hotel? Ilikai. Ilikai. I had him set, but I didn't want to murder the name. I do that sometimes. The boat dock. This is where uh, Gilligan took off. Ah, this is the tail of a captain ship. Oh, there's the ocean. Gotta go catch one of them waves right there. But then we'll be gone by the time we get out there. I like this place. Pretty cool. We're right here on the dock of the uh, the bay. Doubtly, it's a pretty old tree or something, or some certain kind of tree. I don't know. I was joking about the swap meet. It's a place where they sell clothes, uh, a lot of Hawaiian shorts, t-shirts, and stuff like that. It's a really cool place to go to if you don't. If you want to pack light, pack light and bring you some. Uh, clothes over here or buy the clothes when you get here kind of like what I'm doing when I get to the Philippines but uh, I also in this video I'm gonna tell you how to travel or fly for free how I fly for free I'll let you know that in this video so stay tuned and keep an eye on that but right now word from our sponsor has the dating scene here in America or your country got you down do you, you don't have a lot to choose from no more um, I got a, a place you should go check out. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you all about that right now. All right, but all jokes aside, <laughs> if you are looking for a serious relationship, someone who will love you, someone who will be there for you, be loyal, and uh, 
just all around great. Check out Christian Filipina. It is a dating service and they monitor it, monitor, monitor it a lot just to keep the scammers off of it. I got a little tongue twisted there. They keep the scammers off of it. They make sure that the people who do sign up for it are legit and they will match you up with a great Filipina. And I'm telling you, they ain't no love like a, a Filipina. I'm telling you, I date one uh, Filipina and she is amazing. And I can't say enough about her. And I can't say enough about this site. Did I meet my girlfriend on Christian Filipina? No, I didn't. I met her on another site, which it was not a dating site. And uh, But I have talked to a lot of people who are on Christian Filipina. And a few other vloggers that I know that uh, also support Christian Filipina. They also met their Filipina on Christian Filipina. So... I know that it's a good site by doing my research and talking to the people that work there and just I just know that it's a great place to meet someone that you want to fall in love with and have a great relationship with. So the links are in my bio. Click on it, check it out, see what you think and uh, get hooked up so you don't have to get hooked up with what I showed you at the beginning here. It's breakfast time. Yeah, I can't believe how much Hawaii has changed. We are out of the uh, the city part right now. We came to a local restaurant here that when I was here in 2004 that we ate called Anna Miller's. It's a really good restaurant. They had breakfast and things like that. And plus my brother-in-law, he is from Hawaii here and he absolutely loves this place. But if you're ever in Hawaii, come by and check it out. It's called Anna Miller's. Really good place. I'll take y'all inside and let you check out see what it looks like. I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah, I definitely got to check that place out. I had the farmer breakfast and I, whew, I'm full. I have some good food. About to get run over trying to talk to you on the thing here. Buck and uh, Mel got the pancakes and the hash browns and stuff like that, but that was really good. Come check it out. Anna Miller's. All right, I was joking earlier about switching meat at the swap meet. This is the swap meet we're at now. I'm gonna show you all a little bit of what it looks like. It's just different clothes and food and jewelry and stuff like that for sale. It's really cool. It's $2 to get in. I gotta watch though because they're playing music out here. I don't wanna get copyright. <laughs> And it goes all the way around the stadium. Usually on Saturday, this whole parking lot is full of vendors out here. Anything you can find. I will say this though, I know it's 20 years ago, but the prices used to be cheaper. They're a little bit more expensive now. How's it? How y'all doing? Good, good. We design and uh, make all of our patches locally. Oh, really? So they're all laser engraved. And then uh, we put them on dry fit hats. So all of our hats are, they breathe like the trucker, but they're water and sweat resistant. You mean? I don't know. <laughs> How much are they? About 35. 35. We have some that are uh, two different patches today. So if you look at a patch like uh, this one, this is a metallic acrylic. Right. And then these are the new ones. These are all the uh, colored leatherettes. Gotcha. Yep. You got this one in any other color? Or yeah. Just... Oh, yeah. Right here. Oh, well, that, that, that whole stack. And right, then right in front of me. I, I, think I, got, I think I got another stack on each side. Right here. Got uh, oh, like charcoal it. gray. Look oh, at this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try some different color. I like this one that, with the leatherette, too. It's I do, too. I like that one better. <laughs> nice hat these ones have been going crazy they leak hard 
color to get a hold of the sage. It's nuts. I do like that color. And, and it's kind of it's kind of one of those colors that matches with every solid color. Snap back to my favorite. Yep. Mark, I'm Mark Scott's hat. 35. Yep. Water, water and sweat resistant. Yeah, so instead of being any kind of cotton material, they're polyester and spandex, so they dry fit. So they, so the instead of the water soaking in fully, it feeds down, and if some does get inside, they, they dry really quickly, so you never get that mold smell. And I like them because it yeah. takes me a lot longer to get the sweat ring. You got change? Uh, I should. And it's all handmade, right? But the, the, patches the patches and stuff, yeah, yeah, I get hat. We don't have a hat factory in Hawaii, but I yeah, get yeah. high-end hats around, but all the patches are laser engraved, so. I like it. So 65, it should change my bottom. Appreciate you, man. All in way, appreciate it. Real and fit. then uh, there's a little tag on the inside of each hat. Uh -huh. If you put an underscore, that's our Instagram. Right. And we do custom orders, and then we also ship out to the mainland. Well, these are some of my favorites this week, the, uh, the Aluas in the color. Mm -hmm. But the navy, the navy blue hats have really got me this week. That's my YouTube channel. Oh, nice, brother. That's a sticker. There yes. you go. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Mahalo. Check it out. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Got me a new hat. About the time to take off the old shot, one, put on a new shot, one. Shot us out, do a little, you know, video or something, and you know, if you want to order some hats, I'll do I'll do a discount. What, what, what's the name? Uh, Idaho hats. Idaho hats. So Hawaii and Idaho together. Yeah, come yep. check them out here. This is uh, Swamp Meat. I'm at a uh, 12D, section 12, 12D. Here's what they have. Y'all definitely come check them out here. I'm liking my new hat. What do y'all think? Every Hawaiian shirt you could think of. Now we hook. I like that. This is what we were talking about right here. Okay, hey, buddy. Some hey. coffee, bro. Yes. How you doing? All right, all right. Yes, sir. I got dark roast. I got medium roast here on top. If you want to try it out, yeah, ice yeah. cold. Got ice cold. Sugar. Yep. Yes, sir. Like dark or medium, brother? Uh, medium. Medium. So yes, lighter, sir. smoother flavor. A little more kick to it. Oh try yeah. That. Let's let's check this out. Yes, sir. Okay, That's good. Not bad, I bought it. That's real good, man. Yeah, you know, try the dark, bro. There you go. Heavy boulder flavor. Less caffeine. Number one seller. Yes, sir. Sure. Always at the end of the day, number one seller for the dark roast. I like dark roast better. Yeah. yeah. I like both of them, but that yeah. one, that one. Now watch this. Give me one cup, sir. Uh, uh, there's one right there. Yes, sir. This is how I drink my coffee at home. Just a little half and half. Dark and medium. Now this is where it's at. Sweet. Give it a shot. Want to try some coffee, brother? Uh, Ice cold. Ice cold. Yeah. You don't like iced coffee? That's good. Yeah, you're not That's bad good. at it, then. You said about a cup? Not about a cup, but the only about the bags. Only, only about the bags? Some other sample, yeah. But it's really easy to make. You just need a coffee, some heavy whipping cream, a little bit of sugar, and a refrigerator. That's it. Gotcha. Brew the coffee hot, plus the sugar in there, stick it in the fridge to chill it up. Once it's all cold, you bring it out and add the heavy whipping. Well, I got to get some coffee for the, uh, the, the house, the trash can. Yes, sir. For the house, anyhow. Perfect. So this is pure 100% Kona coffee. You go elsewhere, they're about 40 to 60 bucks a bag. All BS aside, I'm not gonna fool with you. Right. 40 to 60 bucks. Here, my price, 20. Two to four, we'll drop it 19 each. Five or more, 18 each. You can mix and match however you choose. We do accept all major credit cards. However, cash is always king. And yeah. I do have ground yeah. or whole bean. For both dark roast or medium roast. 
Now the dark roast has the flavor, medium roast has the caffeine. Ooh. It'll last longer, you know. You are awesome. <laughs> now wait, I gotta be a treat for you because I just did this last week. Oh, so I'm it. finishing it up. So oh, by the I end of the month, you look my whole awesome. batch will be filled again. How long does it take? So this right here just took two hours. Oh, that, that coffee was amazing. Yeah, that's really good. But my whole batch, when I did it in jail, about 300 hours. Yes. And then what you want, dark or medium, brother? Give me the dark. dark. You did well ago. Oh, yes, sir. Stay blessed. Enjoy. Okay, you yes, too, sir. buddy. Thank you. Now, hello. Don't reach forward. <laughs> That's good stuff. Good stuff. I bought me a bag of it. Go home to the Airbnb and, and make me some really good coffee. I wish I knew how to play a ukulele because I... I have no clue. We're coming to the end of it here. I kind of didn't show the whole thing because it was like the same thing, it, just in different locations, but you kind of get the gist of everything. It's the swap meet here in uh, Honolulu. One more shot of everything. Good place to come if you want to buy some t-shirts. They're like four t-shirts for $20. Stickers are cheap. If you want some souvenirs or just buy you a bunch of shirts, take back home with you. We went from Let's see what I gotta call it. The swap meet. Went down through Waikiki, which I'm gonna do a whole video on Waikiki. I'm gonna do kind of a, a walkthrough on Waikiki. But I just wanna come out here and show you this gorgeous view right here. We we're just off, we we're just outside of Diamond Head right here. But my gosh, look at this, y'all. That looks just like the water where you live, gentlemen. Babe. <laughs> the water is just as clear as a bell. Let me get back up here on the shade this other part. Here it is right here. There's a whole there's a whole bicycle right here. And a wheelchair. I think I'm at somebody's house, y'all. I think I'm at somebody's house. Yep, I'm at somebody's house. I got to say though, uh, uh, wait a second. If you if you're homeless, honestly, I wouldn't call it homeless. Right there, when you got that as a view, when you got that as a view, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. I say the, the dude's living in a great place. That's gorgeous down there. The wheelchair. I wanted to show that to y'all though. That is amazing. And I'll hit y'all like on the next stop. I don't know where we're going from here. I hope y'all can hear me though, cause uh, it's kind of windy. And Melly Mayo and the Funky Bunch. I mean, uh, like I say, the homeless population over here has gotten really out of hand, but it they're doing the best they can you know what i'm saying and where that place is right there they got that view right there all day long i love that view nice spot here can't see you will right up there you can't really see it, but that's diamond head All right, y'all, I hadn't videoed much since uh, earlier today because we had a little incident with the car where the engine light came on and my brother-in-law kind of freaked out a little bit because he didn't know what was going on with the car. So we took that car back, we got another car and actually we got an upgrade. We ended up with a Dodge Charger, which was really cool. We had a Nissan Altima, but then we got the Dodge Charger and it turned out to be a lot better than the one that we had to begin with. But I am going to Holly Eva in the morning. And I'm going to do a whole video there because I want to show you all that town. That's a really cool place to be at. And there were, and oh yeah, I told y'all I was going to tell you how I travel for free. Uh, not paying for any airline tickets or anything like that. 
the way I do that is you may already know this or you may not but you pick out your favorite airline and then you apply for the credit card that the airline has and this one here that I applied for was the double A American Airline I like Delta better I'm gonna be honest with you but I put it for this one and when you spend five hundred dollars within the first 20 days or 30 days I think it is you get 15,000 free uh, miles so I spent $500 right off the bat with it and I got 15,000 free miles plus I pay all of my bills with that credit card you got to pay your bills anyhow so why not get free miles with it so I pay all of my bills with it and then I take I pay my gas bill uh, food bill whatever I have to pay and I put that money aside so at the end of the month I can just pay that credit card off without coming out of money with out of my pocket or anything no interest rates or anything and if you have let's just say I don't have this but let's just say you have two thousand dollars worth of bills a month you got to pay those bills anyhow so why not pay it with that credit card and then get two thousand miles a month by the end of the year you've racked up a lot of free miles and you can travel anywhere you want to and don't have to pay for the air, airline ticket that's that's what I do I don't pay for airline tickets when I come back from the Philippines when I go to the Philippines it's it don't cost me to go over there with the uh, the airline ticket I don't know if you knew that or not but if you did it's cool if you don't maybe somebody looking at this didn't know it but I'm gonna end this video right here y'all and uh, tomorrow like I said I'm going to Holly Eva and then we're gonna be on North Shore a lot a North Shore a lot this week so the videos will be coming from there and I leave for the Philippines October the 8th I'll be in the Philippines October the 9th. So I will see y'all on the next one. Love y'all.